Before we start today's video, I'd like to just say rest in peace to George Floyd, my condolences to his family and friends, and I also like to share my condolences to anyone who's lost somebody due to racism or police brutality. We live in a time where we're so advanced in technology, but yet so lost in equality. I do hope that this changes for the future and generations after us can see each other as one, not rather for your skin complexion, but realize we are all equal and we are all one human race. I do hope that these hard times can create new lessons for the future and just change the way things are. Thank you. What is going on guys? It's your boy Ryan. I'm back here with another video. Um, I know it's been a while and I did promise you guys the fourth cruise video where I compare them and rank them against each other in my personal opinion, but I'm still working on that. I'm trying to get it the best way I can, like, make it the best possible way I could so all the viewers can just enjoy it and just understand where I'm coming from with each of um, with all my points and what's what in terms of my criteria. So I'm trying to work on that. Just bear with me, guys. But today's video, we do have two unboxings for you guys. Um, We have a pair of sneakers and another um what i consider like a new york staple back in my high school era which was from 08 to 2012 so we'll hop into that right now all right so the first package we have today is going to be from goat um i've been looking waiting for these for like a while like i've been looking to see if i can get it for a good price i'm gonna show you guys in a second let me just open it up I hope it's not the right sneaker because I didn't think the box was like this for some reason I thought it was a different style of box but put this to the side so these are used as you guys can probably see let me see if it's going to focus in 10 and a half my size Nike Shocks TL slash Skeptas so these are the Skepta Nike this is his Fourth collab or third collab? His fourth collab with Nike because he did three Air Maxes and the shocks. Um, these are used. I got them for about what is it, $110, which, like, going in my size, they didn't have any in 10 and a half, but the only one they have that was close was the um, size 11 for 510. So, seeing it for 110 was like, let me just give it a shot. The pictures didn't look too bad. Um, just by looking at them it doesn't look too bad let me check the other pair out because there was one thing on it that made it so cheap as you can see probably I mean, I camera can catch it but there's some paint chipping right there that's nothing if I'm wearing it so I don't mind that ten and a half I always check the size and make sure it's the right size never since i was young i've always been that to make sure it's the right size in both pairs of sneakers um skeptic he's like one of my favorite uk artists to me he's like the legendary most legendary grime artist there is um i'll have a funny story about him when i went to london in a future video just one of my greatest moments in vacation uh but these definitely excited to have and excited to wear I've wanted them for a while so I've wanted this one and the original collab those are the first two I wanted um Jasmine she just got the deluxe the never sleep on tour ones so I'm excited for her when hers come in I'll probably try to get some pictures and put it in another video or just in this video if she gets it before I put this video out um so she was she was debating for a while on hers so it's good to see that she got hers in. She finally ordered it. Um, I, I was thinking about getting them, and then I seen these. Use the not. The condition actually is really good for a used pair of sneakers. 110. I'm surprised it was that cheap for a used pair of these, especially because you don't really see them on the market. Um, I guess let me just. I don't know how. Keep on putting it back in the box. But let me go. All black, silver Nike checks. 
and the shocks. I used to wear the shocks. I had a few pairs of shocks back in the day, but it was just the four on the back, never the TL. So that's the full shock throughout the throughout it. Definitely excited to have these in the collection. Um, I'm going to be wearing these out a lot. I can see it already. It's just a plain black sneaker with some red on the bottom, but the way the red hits is amazing. I should have just put it like this. The way the red hit is amazing. Um, Skepta, definitely one of my favorites. I am going to probably try and get the Never Sleep on Tour and then the very first ones he came out with. But like the copper looking color those I might have to get those in my collection as well but this is definitely an everyday sneak I could wear these out without being an everyday sneaker just because the condition to me is better than what I imagine it to be because I don't see no real significant flaws other than the paint chipping and that's like if you're wearing your sneakers those things are going to happen but we'll get into the next so as I was done recording, I got two packages in the mail and I thought why not add them to the video. Um, my camera is already set up and my background so it might look a little different from how the rest of the video is but I just wanted to add them in. Um, it should be two shirts and I'm gonna see, we'll see which one I'll open first. I don't know which I feel more comfortable about. I'm gonna go with this one. I have an idea. Okay, I think I know what this shirt is for sure. I do wear other stuff than vintage, but I do buy more vintage stuff too, just because of the affordability. Um, affordability. Have me a was it Big Bell Dinner packs five, ten, or fifteen. Take home a Big Bell Dinner. Um. So it's a Taco Bell Dr. Pepper shirt. Really Taco Bell. Um, I actually like Taco Bell a lot. Like That's one of my go-to restaurants. So I seen this on Depop and I did purchase it. Uh, it's funny because it has like a Dr. Pepper on the Dr. Pepper logo. And I don't live too far from a Taco Bell. Let me see if I can put it in there. Show it. Let me see if I can just show it like this first. So I don't live too far from a Taco Bell, like it's literally across the street and I don't even think they sell Dr. Pepper, I think it's Pepsi products, so that's pretty cool, like not really cool, but it's interesting to just see that they changed like over the years, the different um, drink companies they're with, Taco Bell hit right here, uh, hopefully this is the one I've been waiting for. Um, I try to be careful when I open it, never just so I don't cut anything from the product. Um, it is the one I've been waiting for. Vintage Aladdin promo. Cinema theaters in the back. Um, oh, I didn't do this for the Taco Bell one. I'll do that just now. Tag hit for the people that like the tags. Purple with the blue for the genie. This is gonna be good, definitely good for the um Disney trip. That trip is already booked, so as long as we're able to go, we're definitely going. Um nice. Got some stickers too. I got this one. So I got the talk about from Depop and I got this one from Instagram. This dude I've been following, all American vintage. All American VTG. Um, he has so much dope stuff, and it's like he's good with like prices. He's not overcharging, if you ask me. He's a fair person. Um, he posted this Sunday, the Sunday of Memorial Weekend, and I know he. I seen the story, and I waited all Sunday just for him to post like when he was gonna post the post so I can um be the first to purchase it. He posted it at 6:21. And I DM'd him at 621 asking him how much he wanted for it. Uh a fair price, I won't lie, it's not even a fair price, it's a really good price. More so a still. Keeping this for the personal. I like the blue, um the blue hit on it, plus the purple. And again, the Taco Bell shirt. Just two quick pickups I had today. Uh this one I think I paid 16 for. 
that's the one thing I like about Vincent too. It's like you can negotiate. I'm not here to get like all the rap tees like everybody else. I, I like what I like. So if I see something that's like from 96 and it's just a regular Taco Bell shirt, I'm all for it because I like Taco Bell. Like the only thing I do regret, yeah, I do have a vintage regret since I'm already here um, and right on this topic. Tony Hawk Underground 2 promo shirt. I passed on so many weeks. And it was like going for $35. I kept offering him like 15, the person 15, 10. And for some reason, I don't know why I did that. And now it's going for at least $100. I've seen people post the original Tony Hawk Underground, the part one, for 250 on Depop. Um, but I'm gonna come across that shirt for a good price, hopefully. Look out for that. Again, here's the Aladdin. I don't know if the um the cameras is gonna show like the full coloring of how it is. And here's the Taco Bell. I might have to wear Taco Bell when I get when I get it. Because luckily they're still open. The um Pizza Hut shirt I showed you guys a few weeks ago. Pizza Hut's closed by me. I don't I still don't get why it's not open, but I'm definitely gonna Okay guys for the second package. Um I got it right here. Let me get it for you guys. It's a pretty big box. I don't know if the camera shows it all. Open this. I got it from Opening Ceremony. Um, they're doing a big sale going on, so I thought, why not get this? I've been wanting it for a while. Um, I've had one back in the day. Let me just open it up and then I'll show you guys what it is. Actually, put it up here. I still need to find my box cutter. I might have left it at work. So, I'll just open the box and show you guys. Rose Gold, it's their um, collab with Mermont for the Mermont Mad Men. That's how some people might see it when they look it up, but if you really wanna know what it's called, it's called a Biggie. It's like a staple in New York. It w I don't know if you, it's getting back as a staple in New York. Um, Rose Gold, this is out. I decided let me just wide the lens a little just so I can get a little bit more of it on the camera. Rose gold again, pink. Um, black guts on the inside. Definitely gonna break this out next winter. We'll just open it up. They've collided with um, Open the Ceremony a few times. Back in, I think two years ago in last year. And last year, this is from last year's. Um, nothing crazy on the inside. Not just basically all black. Um, definitely been looking at getting this for a while. I just didn't want to pay that price. The, this is gonna get dirty if you like let it get dirty quickly. But I'm gonna try to keep this in the best shape possible. Um, I do have a few outfits I wanted to show you, show you guys. Um, so the first outfit I wanted to pull up on screen is something I wear more modern with the Mermon. Um, I have the Supreme hat on, like something just casual, like I would wear in today's 2020 if it was 30 degrees out. Um, I wanted to wear the Unfront Rich Supreme hoodie. Sorry if I messed up on the pronunciation. I suck at pronunciation, pronouncing words. Um, some minimal jeans, keep it casual. That's what most of my jeans are from, just because they're like the best fitting to me in terms of like the stretching jeans. Uh, Cause Fours and the Supreme hat. I just wear the hat really because if it's gonna be winter, of course I'm gonna have a hat on. 
but it might not necessarily be that brown one. That's the only thing that might change. But I'd wear something like this if I'm going out to just hang out. Um, maybe going to do like a little shoot. Just because it's like, to me, this is like still like a modern New York outfit. The fours, one of my favorite Jordan silhouettes. Um, the hoodie was just, that was just the first hoodie I grabbed. So it wasn't like I put much thought into this outfit. Just wanted to like throw something on that was just show you guys what I wear. I'll definitely wear a hoodie under it, even though it's going to keep me warm. I like to wear a lot of my jackets just like zipped down. So I like to put a hoodie on under it. Um, the minimal jeans is only one of the few jeans that I do have. Like, I have a few of them that's not ripped. So I want to wear something that wouldn't have rips on it. Because if it's like 40 degree weather, I'm probably not wearing rips. I wear more so pants now. Because I have a good amount of pants that like, I have just in the collection in the closet um but this is just something i would wear today like if i had to just throw something on to go hang out i'll probably throw something like this on um maybe a different pair of sneakers the cause falls was just the first sneakers that was like right in my possession like soon as i that was already not in the box so the second outfit i'm pulling up like these next three outfits this one and the other two will be like more so classic outfits that people used to wear in the Murmans, just a little history of lesson of how like people would dress. Um, these are all my clothes in my collection. So I just went through my little archive in my closet of just clothes I used to have back in high school, see what I can put. Um, there are so much things that I threw out, but I, there's so much I kept. Um, I wanted to keep it how do I put I want to just keep it like real New York like the picture it was in a staircase you know definitely to me that was like that was some New York like that was something that you'll see back in the day on Facebook pre Instagram or Facebook on um, the BB belt actually no we'll start from top to bottom top is a regular hat I think it was a gray bottom I'm not even sure it might have been a black nasty um if you guys don't know what that is, it's like the brim of the hat. What color is it under? When I got to high school, it was at 08. You see a lot of shifts from black nasties going into gray bottoms because everybody had to have a gray. Um, I didn't wear hats much back then just because I would always lose it. So when I wear a cap, I'll take it off for class and now I'll just leave it in the class by accident. So I just try not to wear hats back then. Um, but other than that, I did the striped polo shirt i know this looks like a little bit unkept like looking at the picture now because it's not fully like the jacket's like a little bit tucked into me but the striped polo shirt is um orange and green i had a few other options i just want to go with this one just because ralph Lauren was always he's still popular but he's always just been popular throughout my whole life in terms of his clothes um i wanted to do the bb belt the bb belt wasn't fully loaded but to me i just want to add it in there just because you know the bb belt was something that people were going hard on back then if you had a bb you had to sag you had to really show off your sagging um i was would have loved to do trues i remember i used to have these like all black shoes where like the stitching was showing out like the stitching was like the only thing that you can really tell to make it look like it was trues that would have been nice with this outfit but I couldn't do it because I threw all my all my true religions. Um, so I did the PRP S jeans with the dark pine green foam posits. This was like a simple outfit from back in the day. Um, the only thing that would probably have been different if this was like 2011, the BB hats have been fully loaded. They made a comeback to when most of them ha you have to have the fully loaded one. That's when it's like, so I have like a single one, but the fully loaded was like the rhinestones going all around the waist of the belt. Um, that's the only thing that might have been different back then. So the next outfit we have up was um, definitely a 2000, I would say 2011 piece. Like this would be something you wear in the 2011 um, fitted hack gray brim i never understood the gray brim but gray brim um i try it it looks like i was having it off like all the way but i tried to um bend it because back then a lot of people had their 
brims of the hats bent, just wearing it. Um, Burberry shirt, long sleeve navy. I've had that for probably since I might have brought that in 2011 actually. That definitely was like my junior year. Going into my senior year of high school, I brought that. Um, nudie jeans, all black nudies. Nudies was popular back then for sure. Um, you either had the nudies or the trues. They also had tabs, but the nudies was like one of the few jeans I still kept from back then. And pewter foam posits, one of my favorite color. Like even looking at them on the feet, they actually just looked so good to me. Like I know you can't see the full picture, but definitely to me one of my favorite foam posit colors. Um, the only foams I don't have that I wish I did besides the metallic red ones are the pearls. Cause I think the pearls would have been nice for this Mermont too. Like this would have been a good picture. Um, so we'll be moving on to the next one. So the last picture I'm posting. Um, so the last picture I have up is going to be like specific. This is actually my favorite one. Um, just because like to me this is like back in 2010. You would see like a lot of Facebook pictures having pictures like. In the staircase, usually they'll be smoking, sitting on the stairs, um, or they'll be standing, or they'll be in the park. Those were like the staircases in the park to me were like where I seen most of the pictures back then. Um, you have some in class and in school, of course, but the staircases in the parks, like those were like the real the mark parks to me more was the Mermont ones, but I didn't really want to go outside just because I was trying to switch the outfits up. Um, have a New York Yankees fitted to the back. Uh, rugby, to me, one of my favorite brands ever growing up. Ralph Lauren is just in general, he's one of the best designers to me. Um, maybe it's a New York thing, just because I've always grown up seeing his outfits and like his, not his outfits, but like his collections. Um, but definitely rugby. This is my very first rugby piece. Uh, the clothes look a little tight, but they do fit. To me, they can still fit. The jeans was a tiny bit tight, more fitted from back then, but the shirt fits better if you ask me now. Um, nudie jeans with the uh, electric blue foam posits. This was definitely like a 2011 drop tool for the foam posits. Um, I would probably wear this. My, I guess if I had a different pair of foams, I would wear this outfit my sophomore year more so um and one of my favorite th things about this picture is the cane if you live in specific, specific in certain parts let me not because i didn't want to get tongue twisted if you live in certain parts in new york you're definitely seeing people coming to school with the cane definitely with the cane and the mermonts and this was the this was the real outfit back then the cane with the mermonts some sweats and foam posits like if you've seen that you knew like oh yeah they about that life most of the time sometimes they weren't um it just depends on the person but this is not the exact cane they would have they would have usually the um wooden old wooden cane with the curve on it but this is the only one i found in my house so i thought it would be cool to add to the picture give it that real um that real 2010 uh, aesthetic Sorry, I'm bad at pronunciation again, guys, but this is definitely my favorite picture. Like, I had to make sure I was standing. Like, this is like, you know, you chilling with the bros. Yo, bro, take a quick flick on the, the Blackberry back then. This is definitely a New York picture in 2010, if you ask me. 2011, I guess, because of the foams. But the cane, this is, the cane to me stands out a lot. But if you know somebody from that era, Ask them about like just the Biggie and the Mermonds. Definitely a classic photo. Um, these would have been like classic photos that you see on share Facebook memory eight years ago, ten years ago. But definitely can't wait to wear the Mermont in this win upcoming Wednesday. Hopefully things are good where we can wear the where we can be outside again. Um, so that's all for the, today's video, guys. 
like comment subscribe let me know which outfit you guys like best in the comments um if you guys have any suggestions or anything you want to see leave that comment thanks for watching i'll see you guys soon